looking at this like we desperately need a striker on our team, like very badly. And if we don't, <laughs> it's not looking good like for this season. But like, Sammy, why are you doing all of that? Like we don't know this though. I don't get that. I don't get what you're doing. Like man's movie, man's movie, like man's movie, like man's movie, like I told you, like we don't know this. Like we don't know this. Do you know what I'm saying? No, no, land your land your point. Because Sammy's got Sammy's got something to say. I want to hear this. Why are you getting giddy? We're saying the same thing we're saying, bro. No, 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 let him, let, let let him land this point. I want to hear what he's got to say. Allow him to say I did not interrupt you once. Allow him to say his response. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, First of all, <laughs> the reason why I'm shaking my head and all of that, well, to be fair, I went, when I was doing what I was, what I was doing, I was actually agreeing with what Chez was saying, first of all. But the reason why I'm, I'm getting at you, Don, because even the gal said this. We've been both saying that your main problem is your goal scoring. Then you try to bring in, argue with me. Yes, you, you admitted, yeah, our goal scoring is a problem. But then you try mm -hmm. to bring in, oh, our players are um, playing in the wrong positions. This, that, then there's other things. And I said, bro, I'm looking at your team. Your team has enough quality. Even if your players are playing out of the, um, the, the wrong positions, even this uh, Poch is doing this. Your team has enough quality to be beating the teams that you're losing against, i.e. Nottingham Forest, i.e. Um, West Ham. Because you know why? When I'm looking at these games, what, 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 was the, what was the story of this game? You look what actually playing all right in the first half. You look what actually creating chances. What, 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 did, you, what did you just say? What are the chances good today? You, you, can't, you just can't score. No, no, let me ask you a question. Were the chances good today? I thought they were all right chances. Okay, and at the start of the season, were they were they scrappy chances? Yes or no, bro? So you're telling me that chance that um Jackson missed against um not in I, I have, I, bro, that's one chance that I've spoken about but multiple what times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm trying to say is that you you're, you're missing you're missing something. You're trying to dismiss the point here. that the main problem mm. for about Winter Surface said this five mm. years, which you have not changed. Five but years. Who's, who's disagreed at that point though? I'm confused. What all I said? All I said? You no no. You kept saying yeah. This is what. This, this was your point before. You kept saying, yeah, that oh, Chelsea's mm. main problem is you can't finish, and that's that's it. And I was saying, I was saying, I, I was saying, I was saying to you, I was saying to you, bro, yeah, yes, on paper, right, we're getting all of these chances, like I've said, and like I've said before, Jackson missed that chance against Forest. That was a howler. But the mm -hmm. point that I was speaking about before, and I'm sure Matt, David, even uh, Andrew will tell you, yeah, we weren't creating clear cut chances as we are right now, bro. And a big part of that is because we're playing people out of position. That's what you kept dismissing is the point that, that was I was making. Out. And, and, was and, and no, no, it wasn't it wasn't a cop out, bro. It, it was, was a cop out. No, it, it was wasn't a no, it wasn't a cop out. Go check, bro. Go check the heat map here of where most of our chances were being created from um, at the start of the season, bro. They were all from the right hand side because we were playing Ben Chiwo left wing, and everything was cut back, cut back, cut back. Everything was always scrappy, bro. And I kept banging on about it, saying that we're not creating good chances for these strikers. I know that mm. we haven't got good haven't got good finishes, bro. And what I've said week after week, yeah is that we need to actually feed these men like they're babies. The only way we can mm. feed these men like they're babies, yeah, is if you create better chances for them. Today, we did we did create chances that you should be burying, but again, we didn't finish them. But at the start okay, of the season, like, so, and, 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 like I said, let, let me let my point, bro. And at the start of the season, like I was saying, yes, mm. we were missing these chances, but yeah. we weren't creating clear-cut chances. So two things right. can be right at once. You keep dismissing oh, the fact that oh, we weren't right. creating clear-cut Let me ask you chances. one question. Because Chess said yeah. in his, um, when he was speaking, that yeah. we desperately need a striker. So right. if you're saying what you're saying, that mm. you're not creating these chances as good as um as good or might not be as good as they are, how does the mm. striker, if you're not feeding him, change that? Wait, ask me that again. So basically, Chess in when he was speaking said you needed a desperately yeah. needed a striker, and Chess you can mm. chime I'll in. I'll go respond to him. Yeah, man. bro. Yeah, go on, Chess. Go on, Chess. Go on, Chess. No, yeah. And so, so basically, from yeah, what I'll you're go saying, I'll go respond. I'll go respond. Oh, no, no, what, no, I'm, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, yeah, what I'm saying is, so don't don't understand. Go, 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 go. So obviously, Chess said you need a striker, and from what you're saying, you're not creating clear cut chances. So bringing in the striker, how does that change your fortunes? Bro, if, if, you bring a, if you bring in, if you bring in a guy, if no, 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 I didn't. I never said we're not feeding them, bro. I've uh, you past few weeks said that. No, bro. I said no, I didn't, bro. I said, I said we've been creating better chances now. Is what I said. I literally just said we've been. Have a, wait, wait, hold on a second, Sammy. You're getting confused now. You just said you're not I said, feeding them, bro. I said at the start of the season we weren't creating good chances for our strikers, but like I've said, it's changed now since Palmer's come into the team. We've been we've been creating better chances for the for for our um our, our players up front, yeah. Yes, if you bring in a Tony or Osiman, because these guys are skilled in finishing, bro, they only need half a chance to take. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Jackson isn't at that level. 
So when it comes to someone like him, you, like I've said, bro, he's a you need to treat him like a baby, bro. You need to feed him, literally feed him a, a good chance for him to bury. Because clearly, clearly, he's not good in front, he's not that good in front of goal, bro. That's my point. So okay. if you bring in a striker, okay, maybe, if you bring in a striker, I should have listened like even, to Chelsea fans at the beginning of the like season. Even against, maybe I should have yeah, listened to Chelsea I, fans. But, bro, they were saying oh, oh, that Jackson was the guy that could no, no, one no, 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 no. Even when we brought in Jackson, I was still saying we need another striker, bro. Even when we brought in Jackson, I said we still, we still need another striker. Tom, I never Tom. said that. All, all you, 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 I'm enough. going based on what Chelsea fans say. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm going based yeah, but on what Chelsea fans say. That's what I'm saying. Can I respond? Go, go, go. I hear you, Sam. And I get what Don's saying. Don's basically trying to say in a nutshell, in the beginning of the season, yes, we're missing chances, but it wasn't at the level of Chelsea's level in which to win games, which we do, should be dominating most games. And now it's the opposite, where we create loads, we haven't got a striker to finish them. So my thing is, if you had a clinical striker throughout both these periods, we probably win more games. Because if Saka played well against Chelsea, no. But he was clinical, showed his ability, and when he needed to, produced a good moment. And he scored clutch goals. Mm. Look at Salah the other day against Everton. He didn't play well, but he scores those goals. So we're look saying at, is, at- if we had in Cuckoo, or Christopher and Cuckoo in this team, I'm not even mm. just saying this because obviously he's not proven. I hear what Andrew's yeah, yeah. saying. He's not proven. But I'm going to look at his quality with my eyes. Yeah? And I'm going to say, if he was in both these periods where we're creating, we're not scoring, and we don't recreate, but we need to be clinical, I reckon we win more games. Just purely on the fact he's a clinical striker, in my opinion. Okay, That's Chase, it. Let me just ask That's you it. one question, and I'm going to shut my mouth. Yeah? If you get a clinical striker like Tony, like an awesome man in January, and Poch decides to do a madness and play players out of their position. Do you still believe that that striker that can create for themselves and also get, um if you're creating for them as well, to score goals, do you believe that will still change your fortunes? But Samuel, why has he got to play people out of position? No, yeah, no, no. Really I mean, just ask the question. Just ask the question. Just, just I, the question I, I get what you're saying. I don't really get why you're adding in. Can you explain why you're adding in the bit about... No, because what I'm trying to say... People out of position. That, I don't get it. I don't get it. What I'm trying to say was that when we were t- when we were talking about guys playing out of position, when you were talking about other problems, and when I was saying is that, guys, you have enough quality in your team to still score goals to win those games, so it was a cop out. Samuel, what Samuel, what you're doing right now, you're ignoring the fact that having a balanced team helps you naturally play better, bro. I'm Andrew will tell you, that. Andrew, Andrew, when we when we beat Luton, yeah, what was the, what was the thing that what was the thing that I said after that game? I said we were worse than West Ham that game. I said the only difference against Luton Tom, what is that we were, what happened? Is that we were, Tom, what happened? No, let me finish. Let me land my point, bro. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, when when we played Luton, I said we were mm-hmm. poor. We were even worse than West Ham. Yeah. Okay. But the main difference, the main difference is that we were clinical. Is what I said, right? But in you terms of the fluidity, bro, bro, bro this is what I'm. But bro, I don't, don't ignore overall performances, bro. This is what you're not understanding. If I want, I want my team to play better. I want my team to be well balanced. Yeah. If you're playing people out of position, you're not gonna have a well balanced team, bro. If you're constantly playing Gallagher in a pivot and Enzo in a ten, you're not gonna get the best out of these players, bro. So you you can ignore that as much as you want. I'm not gonna ignore those factors, bro. Because end of the day, football's having a, about uh, having a balanced team. But yes, you are right in saying you are right in saying that we do have a problem in terms of finishing. Mm. I agree with that. But what you keep doing is ignoring the fact that. We weren't we weren't playing as fluid as what we are now, bro. And a big part of that is because we were playing people out of position. And since Poch has changed that, we've been playing better, bro. First half, I've got no bro. We were beating that low block. Look how good Brentford are defensively, yeah. And we were creating good chances. We were, we were breaking through that midfield, bro. And 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 the attack uh, and and their their defense as well. Do you know what I'm saying? And he went flat in the second half. So I, I don't get the point that you're making. Overall, I agree with you. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think like I agree with Matt when he's saying like. I wouldn't say Chelsea fans. Honestly speaking, I said no excuses for losing this game. So I'm not going to come and yeah. say, oh, yeah, we lost. We're crap. But I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, it's the end of the season. My team is finished. It's going to be 10 years, shout out Man United, without winning no title. 20 years, shout out Arsenal, without winning the title. I'm not going to sit here and say stuff like that. But what I will say is, we desperately need our quality players back. Very badly. Because our B team, or our, what do you call it, like substitute players... Like French players, players aren't actually good enough for our team. And that's what's consistently showing me that Conor Gallagher is good in games. He's not consistent mm-hmm. enough for Chelsea, for example. That's just one yeah. player. I'll yeah. give you another player, Jackson. Yeah. He's not consistent enough for Chelsea level. So I need our quality team to be back. And one game a week, I don't know why we've got 20, 30 injuries. It's getting on my nerves. I haven't uh, seen I my hear... first level yeah. in no, I, I, I hear you on that. I want to do some of these super chats and then go to David. Uh, this is a cracking mid-table clash between two banter clubs. Is what Jar says here. Uh, this is says uh, back post again for for F's sake. We don't make the back post runs in case uh, there is a loose ball to follow up. 
Uh, why was Caicedo tackle not a red um, identical to Jones? I must have missed that in the game, personally. I, I don't remember that one. Uh, Scott McTominay uh, had more fight than Chelsea. Uh, more scared of Deitch than Pep. We can't play these. This is a fair point against these low blocks. The Caicedo challenge wasn't a red. Good game all round coming from a Liverpool fan. Uh, Igal is right. You just don't like what uh, what he what, when he says it. I, listen, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend Igal here. I know Igal wasn't saying anything that you guys don't agree with, but Igal got a lot of stick from the audience when he said what he said, and I think he's just coming out and saying like, you know, I was right. And fair play to him. Uh, D the Hague is calling time uh, to answer for your crimes. Uh, thank you, uh, Dom. Don, is it Don N with a no, no, no at the end of this? <laughs> Maybe we should just change it to Dom for a laugh. Uh, en Enzo and uh, Mudrik injury. If Enzo played, we probably win. Don't know how a penalty wasn't given, uh, but a free kick given for the same at the halfway. If, if you remember what I said on the top six as well, Terry, oh. I said when these players start to come back from injury, right? Naturally, your bench starts to strengthen. So, Ches, it, 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 it's perfect what you said about you know, these players coming back. I don't even want to use excuses because that 11 was good enough. But you can't ignore the fact that our bench ain't the best right now. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Remy here says, has Don blamed the manager for not doing what Don wants yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> Poch has been, bro, Poch has been fixing up. Today, the players got to take responsibility, man. There we go. Uh, David, what did you make of today, mate? I don't, I, I'm, I'm honestly here just going to say the same thing. Like I'm, I'm here just to prove that I still exist to like the viewers. Like I haven't disappeared or anything. <laughs> I just have like a busy life that goes on. Um, but yeah, no, we played well in the first half, and then we got to the second half and it just all fell apart. Which is what happens. We don't score in the first ten or fifteen minutes. We just lose. Mm. And it's it was a twelve thirty game, <laughs> and those things are cursed anyway. It was a destined what like. Well, it was well. We lost two 0 It's pretty, pretty much one 0 But like, we were just destined to lose. I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with it. I'm not expecting anything. I said this at the start of the season. Nothing shocks me. And for some reason, all our best chances don't fall to our forwards. They always mm. fall to our defenders. Mm. That's 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 probably something people need to start looking at. They make why better runs. That's why they make better runs. It falls to Kukurea or De Sassi yeah. or like Thiago Silva. Like, why is it not falling to our strikers? That would be that's my one issue I currently have. But apart that's from that, they make they make better runs, David. The defenders. I, make I, I don't know what's runs. going on. I just <laughs> honestly, bro, that, that, that run, that run, Cucurella made. Yeah, I, that's what I want to see Jackson doing, bro. That's what I want to see Jackson <laughs> Andrew, doing. Bro. Do, you know, do you know what? On your point, yeah, this is why I laugh when um I know it was a madness that um Chilwa was starting that left wing. But I slightly do understand it because it looks like your defenders <laughs> and your, your deep line play, playmakers are making better runs than your actual yes. attackers. They, they do. They do. They make better runs in, and stuff. 21 forward. 22. 21 22. That run of the two calls yeah. because of our defenders. They were scoring all the time, not our attackers. Yeah, yeah James and Chill. Only, again, the one person who I'm actually very happy is performing is Cole because yes. that, yeah. that boy can seriously play and yeah. he's creating. Like enough chances for us to win. He did games. his job. He did his job. He bro. did his job. Yeah. I can't ask Cole Palmer to do more. He's playing no. very well. That's no, the one thing I can take away. He, 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 comes out, yeah. he comes out of a lot of credit again. He comes out of a lot of credit. And he's one of the yeah. first names on the team sheet now. He has to be one of the first teams wherever he plays. He has to play. I just want. Oh, yeah, he's in, he's in the 11. He's I, in the 11. 100%. Yeah. That's has to be in every week. I mean, I just, just, I just want yeah. all I want to see from Potch. Okay. Again, stop playing Cole Will out of position. Stop. Um, just play like centre backs at centre backs. Left back. Cole will play the centre back today, though. Right back to right. Did he? Oh, I'm, I'm bugging yeah, out. Yeah, right. You meant the SC. You meant yeah. You, you, you meant the SC. But again, everyone, people have been watching this show for like more than like two years. No, there was one person in the squad I wanted out, and he's gone now. And he's come back in the new form, and his name is Connor. He's got to go. He's not good enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you, no, I'm sorry. It's a joke because I'm sorry. If, I love Chelsea. I love Chelsea. And if you put me in a Chelsea shirt, I would run around a lot. Yeah. But I would not be effective on the ball. No, and that's the exact way I feel about Conor Gallagher. Well, I it's think you saw... Way. I think you saw... He's the next one. He's got to go. I think you saw the dip, why he's playing know. well is because of the two that play regularly behind him. And when he goes now into one of their slots, you see him... Yeah, you can't deal with them. You see him not in, not in, in, in the pivot. In the pivot. Oh, no, it's not on that side. It's not on that side. You're going to get with Conor Gallagher. 
and I'm probably being a bit disrespectful. I'm not going to use Nicky Butt as an example. I'm going to use John O'Shea as an example. Players like John O'Shea and Wes Brown and Conor Gallagher are, are good squad players. Yeah. They're never going to be good enough starting 38 league games a season to perform regularly enough at the highest level to impact the team. He'll do great as an example. Let's, uh, I know he's out. Unkunku's out for a long time right now, which isn't great. But say Unkunku needs rotating, and for a game he comes into that kind of more attacking role with Caicedo and Enzo behind him, he's fine. If you're saying, right, you're starting in this team for the next 15, 20 games, you'll get five or six really good performances, and then you'll get 10 average ones because he's, that's just his level, and that's not a deal. Yeah. I think he's a good Bruce. fringe player for a club like uh, Chelsea, but he's no more than that. And I felt that, again, all that club has had players like this. You guys, for years, flogged that, you know, the, I know he's still considered 21 by your fans, but Loftus-Cheek is an example. Wait, he's, nah, nah, nah we're, not, we're not doing that, man. You keep trying to use Ruben as an example, Terry. Terry, Ruben was good do you wanna, for us. Do you want to know why he wasn't? Do you want to know, no, 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 know why I know for a fact Stop. he wasn't good enough for you? Because mm. he's only in his mid to late 20s now and he ain't at your club. It, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, but, uh, he's not good enough. And but my point he is, good he's, he's good enough to be a fringe player, and mm. that's it. And that's why you know, in the end, he wanted to leave for first team football. He's a fringe player. Tammy Abraham, decent striker, but never going to be good enough to lead the line in the Premier League for a team like Chelsea for thirty-eight games and be consistent enough. Good enough for Roma in Serie A, not good enough for Chelsea in the Premier League. And there's a fundamental difference. And I think that I know when it's an academy player because my club had some. You get so attached to them. But for me, I don't care how good they are or how bad. I just want it to be improved. And I think that's an area, Conor Gallagher, I agree with you, David. See, Terry, Chelsea Terry, if, if, if we, when we speak about that as Chelsea fans, yeah, we, we keep getting told, oh, you're scapegoating Conor Gallagher. It, it's not a scapegoating thing. We're not saying we lost because of him. It's just a simple fact of there's better players than him. Yeah. And it's, it's a shame that guys that Lavia are injured. It's a shame that guys that Nkuku are injured because these guys are all better than him. Do you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the work he gives us off the ball. But on the ball, bro, we've got more quality in this team. It's as simple as that.